Right, to get you in the mood, here are some foods for you to try. You should have some on your little prop tables. Oh. Oh. You've got chocolates there, Josh. Mm. You've got a oh. potato, Alan. <laughs> what have you got, Ken? Well, I oh, don't. Oh, champagne. It looks like champagne. It or could car. be anything. Probably carved. You, you know, could have had budget. a wee in here earlier for all I know. <laughs> Is that, I, is you your... wouldn't want it to fizz, though, would no, you? No, you wouldn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Is your finger on top? <laughs> Stop it, I was still on the loose. Yes, <laughs> I hope it's fresh. I think it's fresh and edible if you want to eat well, it. Well, I hope it's fresh you as well. You can drop it in the champagne. It's quite delicious. Oh, in the champagne. God, I oh, love... I I can't, I'm allergic to champagne. Literally. Are you? Yeah, I can't drink it. Oh, darling, it's well, simply terrible for you. But it's not... <laughs> Christopher Hitchens rather wonderfully said the four most overrated things in the world are lobster, champagne, anal sex and picnics. <laughs> <laughs> what a night that would have been. <laughs> Come on, they're all daytime. <laughs> right? Anyway, so you by all means eat yours, but what do you think they have to do with our theme? Chocolate? Uh, um... Sexy foods. Yeah, yeah. aphrodisiac. Aphrodisi aphrodisiac. They're, they're, they're considered to be aphrodisiac. Yeah. Oysters are long been considered it. <laughs> Potato? Yes, Alan. A thousand times, yes. <laughs> you can go on a date, of course, with two potatoes and a carrot and uh, lay them out on the desk or the table in a very erotic way <laughs> uh, and tantalise people. That's true. <laughs> two potatoes are and a single, carrot. Are you Tony, are you? <laughs> <laughs> At what point in the date do you Where's pull the out the potato? Well, the desk. <laughs> I, I admit that the desk on the date, it, it, the date's going badly wrong. <laughs> well, do have a piece of chocolate, do sip your champagne, and do, by all means, um, I mean, have your oyster. I, I do love oh. oysters, but one time I did get poisoning uh, <laughs> on, on a Valentine's Day. <laughs> on Valentine's Day? Oh! oh. oh are you eating your right potato right? raw? Is that allowed? <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, here she goes, here she goes, oyster down. Oh. Thicker than I'm used to. Hey. Oh. 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 How is it? Oh, very nice. I'm yeah. definitely going to take this episode, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate, I think. Oh, they're very nice. You might have rose petals or, or, or violets. Are you right, Alan? I feel horny. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Jeff. It's worked. Money out. Two bites. <laughs> well, the reason that potatoes were considered to be aphrodisiac at one point in history, this may be something Ashley knows, is that when they were introduced to Ireland as a major crop, mm -hmm. the population of Ireland increased a, a huge amount. But uh, it was simply because there was less starvation than there had been before. Though, as we know, there was then the terrible potato blight and the <gasps> population reduced. You have to bring so, it up. I'm sorry I didn't know. <laughs> Bad moment in Irish history. It's fine. It's fine. I'm nearly over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still more guilt to be yeah. got out of it from us. Scarbs are the last thing you'd want before sex. I know, bro. Make you feel heavy, wouldn't you? You'd think. Yeah. Um, how long you want to go on for, John? <laughs> <laughs> Just slow release. Porridge. <laughs> slow release. I oh, no, no. oh, didn't mean it like that, Stephen. <laughs> I'm going to have a chocolate and stop lowering the tone, I think. <laughs> the fact is, if you go online, not that this is the most authoritative way of finding out, but almost any food that you put next to the word aphrodisiac in a search field will return a, a result of some kind. There seems to be no food in history that hasn't been regarded at some time as aphrodisiac. Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe to the QI channel and click here to watch more videos. Please, come on, pick something.